Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hi, Kevin. Good evening. <clears throat> hey, Mauricio, good evening. Hi, Andrea. Good evening, guys. The Maris, uh, I think I can see Kevin here. Good evening, so, teacher. Good evening. Great to see you guys. How are you? How are you? I'm all right. I think I'm doing just fine. Let, okay. me, let me fix my, my camera. And um, Salvador, good evening. Nice meeting you. Dinora, nice, meet, uh, nice to see you here. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Joining. How are you guys? How is your Wednesday going? Everything okay? Is everything good? Mm -hmm. Good evening, everybody. Uh, teacher, sorry, but mm -hmm. I only listen to the class because I am very sick. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Uh, yeah, so thank I, I don't, you. I, I don't, I don't feel good. I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope you feel you get better soon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of like viral processes going on. So guys, I really hope you get better. Um, so Mr. Funes, just do me a big favor. Uh, yep. Because in your name, you look like oyente. Can you uh, eliminate that part, please? Because creería que está inscrito el módulo, right? Yep. Ah, okay, perfect. No, so in that case, just eliminate the part of where it says oyente, please. Okay. Um, just to make sure that we got that. Um, uh, Salvador, good evening. Just, si me ayuda con su nombre, please. Uh, Jonathan Burgos, too. Um, si me ayuda con su nombre completo. Um, Hector Perez, please, ayúdenos con su nombre as well. And Morris, as well, please, para que no se parezca like your full names here. Um, I'm glad to see you guys. I'm glad to see the rest of um, you who were missing. From yesterday, I see Jorge. So good evening, Jorge. Nice to meet you. I think I didn't see you yesterday, right? Yeah. Um, Coralia, well, Georgina, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for your cameras too. And um, all right, how are you? Did you have a good day, guys? Did you have an, an okay day? Was it all right? Was it good? So, so, are you ready for classes? Are you kind of ready for classes? Um, well, I guess, and I hope you are having a nice day. I heard, I hope you're having a good one. Bienvenidos a los eh, compañeros que no me pudieron acompañar ayer, porque ahora que se incorporan. So welcome guys eh, to today's session. Today is session number two out of a basic number five, right? No teníamos tarea, there was no homework assignment uh, pending, so um, we are just fine there. Um, Abigail, good evening, thank you so, so much for joining. Lady, good evening. Julio Cesar, nice to meet you, and thank you for joining as well. Miss Bonilla, thank you so much. And um, it is really good to see you guys. Um, uh, okay, okay, gracias, Missy. Espero que llegue safe and sound to your house. Um, so we're gonna get started with session number two uh, today, guys. Eh, vamos a seguir revisando un poquito de, de procesos. We started with this topic yesterday. So yesterday we were talking about like manufacturing processes, como describir pasos, right? Um, like in cooking, for example, que es uno de los temas that we have. Um, and today we are going to continue a little bit with this. So vamos a trabajar con eh, un par de vocabulario, some words, some verbs related to manufacturing, related to cooking. Um, also, we are going to check pronunciation as well. And then we are going to speak, right? Eh, tanto como se no sea posible. Now, um, guys, from yesterday, creo que we didn't check like a lot of vocabulary, uh, but today we're gonna get, you know, familiar with that a little bit. So to get started, guys, I have some questions uh, for you. So we can give opinions and share ideas. Take a look at this one, guys, and we have question number one. It says, how often do you make food and eat it? Um, guys, do you normally cook in your houses? 
So do you cook and eat your own food? Do you cook every day? You can activate your microphone yes, and uh, you can let us know, guys. How often? How often do you make your own food? Every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Ah, that's so sad. Okay. <laughs> do you cook only for you or do you cook for other people too? Yes. Uh, for me and my, uh, and my girl and my boy. Ah, okay. So for your kids. Yes. Okay. Are they young? Are they young? How old are they? Ah, uh, my daughter is uh, 12 years old. Yes. Ah, okay. And, okay. and my boy mm -hmm. is uh, nine years old. Ah, oh, yes, they are very young. Okay. So they cannot cook, okay. Probably like in some years, right? They will be able to cook for you. Okay, uh, now nah, it's interesting. Guys, boys, what about you boys? Boys, can you cook? So I see, um, I see Maurice, uh, Jorge, I see Julio Cesar. Uh, boys, sometimes. do you cook, Salvador, sometimes? sometimes yes. What are some things that you can cook? What can you cook? Can you make soups? Can you make some rice? Can you prepare chicken, beef? What can you cook? Uh, sometimes chicken, uh, beef. Um, okay, chicken, beef, okay. Can you make soups? Uh, maybe for life. Okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest of you, sir? Do you cook, guys? Can you make anything, Hector? Uh, yes, I like to cook. And the uh, breakfast for me uh -huh. and my family. Ah, you make breakfast for your family? Yes, I like uh, to eat and beans and a uh, cook, okay. coffee cup. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Okay, really good. So you prepare breakfast. Do you prepare breakfast every day? Uh, no, only only Saturday. Ah, okay, only Saturdays, only on the weekend. All right. Guys, what about the rest of you girls, boys? Do you <clears throat> normally cook? Can you cook? For me, uh, only Sunday, I only help my wife. You help your wife, okay. Yeah. So what do you normally prepare on Sunday? Uh, what, uh, uh, chicken in the... For lunch? Yeah, for lunch. Ah, okay. But you help her or you cook it? Or you buy it? No, help her. Ah, you help her cook, okay. Oh, nice. That, that sounds all right. Okay, guys. Question two is really pupusas. interesting. Pupusas. Can you make pupusas? Can you cook? Can you make pupusas? Okay. So you have to tell us about the process for making pupusas, guys. <laughs> okay. Number two, guys, is really interesting because it says, do you consider toasting bread, preparing instant noodles or maruchans, or boiling an egg is cooking? <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, is making a maruchan or making cereal cooking or not really? Not really. So making a maruchan is not cooking, guys? Mm, no cooking. Making cereal? Mm, 
So it is not cooking. Guys, no. hacer, un, hacer una maruchan eso no es cocinar. Is it cooking or not? Not cooking. Not really. Not really? Yes, no, but, teacher. But when, when you, <laughs> yes. prepare, when you uh -huh. prepare eggs, uh -huh. I think that, uh, it, yes, is is cooked. Uh -huh. well, it's a boiling, actually. So boiling really? means you have a pan, you have water, you put eggs, and that's it. So oh. <laughs> uh -huh. boiling an egg is like huevo duro, huevo tibio, so boiling an egg. Uh -huh. So is but that the, cooking? But if you don't, but, but if you don't know uh, what time do you prepare the mm -hmm. boiling eggs, if uh, it's not bad. Yeah. Uh-huh. So do you think it's cooking? <laughs> Teacher, yeah. <clears throat> in my case, um, add cheese and cream and beans uh, okay. and paper. It's delicious. Ah, so you, you add like other ingredients. Very yeah. nice. Like when you go to the gas station, right? And you buy a maruchan in the gas station. Okay. <laughs> Sounds nice. Yes, and maruchans with uh with celery with coriander con perejil they are really delicious <laughs> okay and lemon ah yes lemon and cheese so def definitely are so is that cooking or not guys is toasting bread like tostar el pan toasting bread preparing noodles um is that cooking maybe maybe 50 50 Well, as, as Jorge said, um, not everybody can even make eggs. So I think it, it has a little bit of a process, right? So uh, imagine you don't know how to make a maruchan, you will end up making a big mistake or a big mess. All right, so let's jump to number next one. Number three says, what is your favorite dish to make? So this one is related to cooking, guys. What is your favorite dish to make? ¿Qué es algo que ustedes hacen? What is something that you like doing? Can you make pizza? Can you make, I don't know, uh, like some dessert? Scramble eggs. Scramble eggs, okay. And people put some uh, milk in a scramble eggs. So, uh -huh, I don't like it. All right, guys. What I is don't your... like it. Mm, me neither. What is your favorite dish to make? I cook any food. Uh, I'm sorry, can you say that again? Can you repeat? I cook any food. You cook any? Oh my yeah. God. Lasagna, pizza, anything? I, I like the Italian, Italian food. Italian you, ah. food, Chinese food, roast, anything. But do you like to eat or do you like to make? make oh I, my I make god that's amazing okay so you like to make food italian you said italian food what is your Chinese, favorite Chinese? spaghetti uh, maybe the roast okay and chinese Any food roast. too oh yeah I, I i cook chinese food too. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you a cook by any chance? No. No. A chef? No, only only no. I, 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 I cook for, for for my daughter. Ah wow. Okay. That sounds amazing. Sounds really cool. Okay, yeah. guys, what about the rest? So Kevin likes uh to make some Italian and Chinese food. And the rest of you guys, what's your favorite dish to make? In my so, in my breakfast, uh, mm -hmm. my favorite is a uh, what do you say pancake. Ah, pancakes. Okay, yeah. can you make pancakes? Yeah. Big borrachos, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so some Mexican. Those are Mexican beans. Ah, uh -huh. uh, okay. So Mexican beans. All right. Uh, pancakes. 
What do you put in pancakes, guys? Do you prefer butter? Do you put honey? Or do you put any other dressing like a Nutella and things like those? Uh, honey and honey. ice cream. Oh, ice cream. That sounds delicious. Okay, I have never tasted pancakes with ice cream, but that sounds good. All right. Very delicious. Yeah, sounds like. Sounds like. Okay, guys. And the last one, cooking sure. or baking? Yes? Yes. Sure. I like pancake with fruits. Pancakes with fruit. With fruit. Oh, what kind of fruit do you put on? Bananas, oh. strawberries, or what apple. else? Apple. 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 But Banana. do you but do it you mix do you mix the fruit with the dough or do you put it on top? Um. So um. Or you mix. With yes. the with the flour, yes. Oh, interesting! I don't know how to do that. You have to tell us. <laughs> so you need to you need to tell us like the steps. Actually, we have a very interesting activity for this module, and it is related to cooking. Um, actually, so no worries, you will enjoy it. <laughs> okay, and guys, the last one: cooking or baking. What is more fun? What is more difficult? Mm, do you like baking? Does anybody like baking, uh, making desserts? For me, I don't like baking. You don't like baking? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Does anybody I like, like baking? baking? Too. I like, like baking, baking too. Yeah. What do you normally bake? Cookies? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, turkey. Uh, okay, so dishes. Yep. Yeah, okay. Pork, uh, any food too? <laughs> oh, wow, that sounds nice. Sounds like you really like cooking. <laughs> yeah, I, I like Okay, it. that's great. Okay, guys, what about the rest? So cooking or baking, which one do you prefer the most? Girls, which one do you prefer? Hello, teacher. Hi, good I daughter. prefer I uh, I prefer cooking. And not baking. It's more difficult for me. Ah, okay. <laughs> but it's my more mother um, pra practice with me. Ah, okay, okay. Abigail says nothing. So Abigail, can you tell us? Can you give us more information? Why nothing? I can't. You can't cook cooking or baking. Aroy? Mm? Aroy? Like aroy, like para nada. So aroy, para not nada. even eggs. The cooking isn't for me. Cooking isn't for you. Okay. But can you make anything like sort of by being level, level just for you? So can you cook anything? No. Mm, no, my sister cooking for me. Your sister? Wow, that's amazing. Okay, what about like breakfast, lunch, dinner? Do you take some food to your to your work? No, I buy the lunch. Oh, okay. I see. Guys, what about the rest of you? Do you cook at home and take it to your work? Or do you buy your lunch as well? Do you prefer to cook at home? Or do you prefer to buy food? What is better for you? <clears throat> baking, teacher. Okay, so baking. All right. Besides baking, uh, talking about like the food that you take to work, right? Lo que llevan del muerto, guys. Do you prefer cooking and taking food or buying food at work? What is better for you? Uh, 
I prefer cooking. Okay, so you prefer cooking. All right. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes it's more difficult depending on the places. I'm oh. sorry, guys. Me was todavía esta medio profunda. Todavía tengo voz de son poco. I'm sorry about that, but my cough no me deja Already. Okay, so I think we have very, very like important words here. And we're going to move ahead. Vamos a revisar un par de acciones, un par de verbos, because later we're going to talk about some processes, right? And here, guys, we have drag and drop the correct cooking bird under each picture. Obviously, we are not going to drag and drop. Solamente vamos a macharlo. We're going to match it. Um, we have some words. Uh, guys, repeat with me, please. Repitemos juntos. Let's repeat it. We have peel. 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 Stir. 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 Serve. 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 Add. Fry. 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 Cook. Cook. Cut. Cut. Uh, mix. 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 Boil. 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 Bake. 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 Pour, I pour, flip, 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 flip. So flip. it's not like a, but then because flip, right? No flip, no flip. <laughs> it's the like way maybe like flip. Super rapidito. Okay, so that's flip. All right. So here we have a couple of words. Um, flip. for example, when you make tortillas or you make pupusas. You have them on one side and then we flip it. <laughs> so that is called flip. We turn it, right? Uh, if you have pancakes, same thing. So you have it like this and then you flip it. So that is called a flip. To turn. So take a look at these uh, drawings. Which one? Peel. The first. Peel. Ah, what the meaning? Ahorita me van a decir what is the meaning. Here we have some drawings. Tenemos unas pictures que nos van a ayudar with the meaning. Just to get a closer and a clearer idea what the meaning of those words is. So, I'll give you a hint. Peel refers to fruit. It refers to vegetables. So, you peel potatoes. You peel bananas. You peel apples, uh, you peel carrots. So from these pictures, what is peel? What is a stir? What is serve? What is add? You can use your dictionary, guys, if they are super new. If you don't have any idea what they are, I'll give you five minutes so we can match the words on top with the corresponding picture, right? So five minutes, guys. <clears throat>
Oh, okay, very nice. I see you already got the, the option of matching. Okay, so yeah, very good. We got peeling, exactly. So we can peel an apple, serve, okay. Add, all right, very good. Okay, let me see, cut. Yes, we have cut. Bake, very good. Mix. Yeah, that can work. So we are missing only fry. Uh, mm, we are missing this drawing, guys. We are missing this one right here, and we are missing this picture right here. So did you find it? We are missing this picture. Okay, fry, thank you. We got fry. Mm. And we are missing the milk. So this is the bowl and poured. Very good, exactly. So that is pouring. All right. So yeah, we can cut a cheese. We can cut um, like onions, right? We can cut pieces of tomato, uh, peel. What are the most common um, fruit or vegetables that you peel, guys? Es lo más común que peelan. teacher. What do you normally peel? Talking about fruit or vegetables. What do you peel, guys? Both. Um, vegetable. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So what do you cook? Um, well, actually, um, some people, I have seen that no, no pelan las verduras, sino que las, las usan completas in the soup. Guys, what about you? Do you peel them? Do you peel um, vegetables? Yeah, potato. Uh -huh. Okay, you peel them. So, si lo pelan. Interesting. What the so meaning? Know. With what? How do you, I'm sorry, can you say that again? With skill, how do you say in English? Um, there is not a, like a word for that. So we normally say chayore because uh, there is not any, um, that is a Latin, Latin American word, so chayore. Uh, we can use chayore right there. Okay, so we have boil. We checked this word yesterday. What is the meaning of boil, guys? What was boil? Herbir. Okay, we have flip. So flip is darle vuelta, darle right? vuelta. Como, like in Spanish we say voltear, but it's dar vuelta. Uh, we have a steer. What is a steer? I don't know. You veo que tienen mix. Um, okay, yeah, we can have it as mix. También puede ser a steer, de hecho. This drawing, this can be a steer too. So a steer is como menear, right? So when we Mexico. are like putting... Remover. Remover, exactly. For example, we have, have you ever made an atoll? Like, una vez han hecho un atoll? So when you make an, an atoll, when you yes. make this kind of drink, you need to steer it, right? So that is a steer. No super rápido, but a steer, right? Move a little bit. Okay, very nice. Really, really good. Questions, questions with the words, are we okay? I'm gonna take that silence as a no. <laughs> if you have questions, please let me know. Okay. Um, now I have a couple of things here. Take a look at those ones. We have chopping. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, peel. Hay un error con peel. Se los escribo acá. There is a little mistake, and I didn't. I didn't check it before. Uh, so this is peeling. We have mix. We have pour. We have add. Um, so I'll give you a hint. Chop. It's very similar, very, very similar to cutting. So cut and chop are similar and the second is peel. Number one, the banana. What do we do with the banana, guys? ¿Qué hacen con la banana? What do you do with the banana? Peel, peel. exactly. So la, la, le retiramos la cáscara, so peel. Uh, number two, 
the banana in little slices and put it in a bowl. Chop. 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 Very nice. Chop. Yes. Three. The fruit in the bowl. What's that? Pour or mix. Change mix. Mix. Mm, mix. Okay. Mix the fruits in the bowl. Yes, that can work. Number four. Cereal and mix with the fruit. Add. 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 And the last one, the yogurt and condensed milk. What's this? Pour. Pour. Because it is a liquid. So, con los liquids, los vertimos. All right. And what is this? ¿Qué estamos haciendo? What are we doing with these, uh, with these steps? Any idea? ¿Qué resulta? Do you have any idea what I make out of this? Atón. <laughs> okay. And banana pie. A banana pie, probably, because it says yogurt and condensed milk. All right. Tal vez breakfast, because it's a cereal and mix it with fruit. So maybe a bowl of breakfast, right? Okay. There we go. So, tenemos chop. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre chop and cut? Cut es en cualquier uh, medida, forma. And chop es hacer picadillo, right? So, it says here, the banana in little slices. So, chop. Vamos a hacer pedacitos out of the banana. Es la diferencia. Cut, cortamos lo que sea, but chop es hacer pedacitos. All right. Um, let's move on a little bit here. And I have, guys, a little bit of a pronunciation exercise. Um, vamos a revisar un poquito de pronunciation. <clears throat> And here we have some words. No sé si son nuevas para ustedes. I don't know if they are new. I don't know if you know what they are. But we have a couple of words that are very similar. Se parecen bastante like in pronunciation. So look at them, guys. La pronunciación es bastante similar. It's very similar. So we're just going to check pronunciation a little bit. And uh, later, I'm going to give you some minutes para que revisen new words as well. So, um, guys, repeat with me, please. Chewy. 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 Jewelry. Jewelry. Chewing. 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 Okay. So chewy is like food. Chewing also, it's food. Um, let's go with this one. Raw. Raw. Boar. Boar. War. War. Very similar. Crispy. 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 Wispy. 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 Crusty. 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 Mm -hmm. Hunch. 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 Bunch. Crunch. 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 Mm -hmm. Do. 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 Row. 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 Bow. 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 Sour. 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 Hour. 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 Oh. Very similar. Uh, rich. 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 Itch. It's it's rush. 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 Okay, super different. Beans. Beans. Beets. 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 Creamy. Creamy. Steamy. 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 Dreamy. Dreamy. Nice. Chop. 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 Drop. 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 Crap. Crap. Okay. Royal. 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 Oil. 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 Boil. Boil. Oil. And the last one says shrimp. 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 Rum. 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 Crimp. Crimp. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, um, so um, some words, not every word, algunas de ellas, en la mayoría están relacionadas con comida. Most of them are related to food, pero no todas ellas. Guys, really quick, vamos a crear un poquito de vocabulario. We're gonna go over vocabulary here. Um, please get in groups. I'm gonna send you to some groups. And revisemos el significado de las palabras que no sepamos, right? No words, so take a look at them. Eh, trabajen juntos, si hay algo que ya saben, para hacerlo más fácil, pueden dividirse, luego lo comparten, or it's up to you if you prefer to just share what you got. <coughs> Sorry. So, vamos a los grupos, guys. Tenemos eh, like cinco minutitos para revisar vocabulary. Podemos hacer oraciones too de las palabras that are kind of new. And uh, in five minutes, as much as we can in five minutes. Eh, Juan José, quédese por acá, please. Kevin, también. Mauricio, stay here. Salvador, Dinora, and the Maris, quédense acá, guys. Los demás, vámonos a los grupos, please. Les voy a compartir la, la screen para que no tengan que copiar, pegar. Um, and uh, para que la tengan en los grupos también. So, se las estoy proyectando, guys, in your groups. In the meantime, please, um, let's start working with this. So, Mr. Narvaez, vamos al grupo. Lady Michelle Noe, vamos al grupo, please. Blanca, let's go to the group so we can practice. And guys, voy a cerrar mi micrófono un momento para que ustedes puedan practicar. So, check the meaning of the words. Y si podemos dar oraciones, mucho mejor, even better. Hola compañeros. Hello. Hola. Hola. Hello. Hello. Varias palabras desconocidas, ¿verdad? Sí, bastante. La mayoría. Sí. Y diferentes. Todas. Ah, sí. Ok, pero por ejemplo, pues empecemos con la primera, el chiwi. Eso sí, no sé qué es. Chiwi. Correosa, dice el, la traducción. Correoso, y eso es el que es. Eh, bueno. eh, Va, el correoso, el loto jewelry, es joya, ¿verdad? Sí, joyas. Jewelry. Y chewings es masticando, ¿verdad? Masticando, sí. Ahora rap, no sé, no sé. Lo traduce como crudo. ¿Crudo? Sí. Crudo. Ok. ¿Y el bor? ¿Bore? Bor. Aburrido, ¿verdad? ¿Ah? Aburrido bore. no es bor. Aburrir, va. ¿Y war? ¿War? war? Guerra. Civil War. Guerra. 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 Crispy. Del mismo Choco Crispy, ¿verdad? No. Sí. Sí, ah. como crujiente. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, crispy. Sí, crujiente. Y la otra palabra es Crispy. Crispy. Como oscuro, tenue, opaco. Ajá, tenue. Crispy. Tenue. Y crusty. Este, a saber qué diferencia será con crispy, pero la traducción es igual, ¿verdad? Crujiente. 
Sí, eh. Krusty, eh, te preguntaré a la teacher. Sí. Krusty. A ver si se ocupan eh. en diferente aplicación. Sí. ¿Cómo eh, les traduce Kispi? Eh, Wispy. Crujiente. No, Wispy. Wispy es como opaco, oscuro o tenue. Ajá. Tenue, ajá. Tenue, sí. Uh -huh. El donde tenemos dudas es Crispy en Crusty. Porque lo traduce igual. Ajá. Bueno, dejémoslo de decir y le preguntamos. Veamos sí. el hunch. Hunch. Y bunch. Presentimiento o corazonada. 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 Ajá. El otro es este bunch racimo. 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 Perdón, ah, es que racimo. estoy tapiada. Racimo, sí. Ok. Va, y el otro es crunch. Ese es el... A ver, va. Crunch. Como cru, crujiente también. También, Crujido. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Crunch. Crujido, eh. Crujido, sí. El otro es Dow. Dow GH. Eso significa eh, Rose y Boat. Masa. ¿Cuál? Masa. Dow. Dow. Sí, es masa. Masa, sí. Y row. Fila. Fila. Y bow. Arco, dice. Arco, arco, sí. So, source, eh, sur city. No. Oh. <ríe> eh, sur, no. No. Sor. Sor. Agrio. Agrio. Y el otro es Ora. Or, Ora. Y Or. No, no, como de nosotros. Nuestro. Nuestro, ajá. Nuestro. Rich, rico. Rico. It's, ahí sí, me pegamos. It's, It's como picar. C-H. Picar. Ok. It's, picar. Y rush. Rush. Prisa. ¿Ah? Prisa. Prisa. In a hurry, in a rush. Bean frijoles. Yeah. Frijolitos. Y veas. 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 Rosario. Eh. No. Rosario. Eh. Yeah. Rosario tijera. <laughs> Eh, eh, bled, 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 bled. Bled. Eso significa sangrar. Sangrar, si sí, blood es sangre. Sangrar. Bled, sangrar. sangrar. Ajá. Ahora ven, cream. Es crema, ¿va? Sí. ¿O no? O cremoso. 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 Eh, Stimme. Stimme. Es. Vapor. Ah. 
Vapor. Vapor sí. sería. Porque lo traduce sí. vida, vapor, pero sí. está, está raro. Otras como opciones, vaporoso, lleno de vapor. Sí. Empañado. También. Quizás como vapor, ¿verdad? Sí. Pongámosle referencia de vapor, país. Ajá. Así lo, lo traduce es... como vapor. Sí. Eh, dreamy. Soñador, va. Sí. Y chop. No, uh, dreamy. Ahora sí, va. Cortar, chop. Yes. Pit drop. Soltar. 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 I drop my dog. <laughs> <¿Ve>? <laughs> sí. Crop, cultivo. Y, y crop. Cultivo. 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 Mm, yes. Ok. Ajá, cultivo. Eh, royal. Boil. Royal. Uh -huh. Esa está rara la traducción. Sí, significará porque aquí dice enturbiar, pero. Enturbiar. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí, 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 sí. Como turbulento es. ¿eh? Turbulento. ¿Así me lo traduce a mí? Sí, podría oh. ser. Oh, yeah. Frustrar, va. Oh, yeah. Sí. Y boil. Boil es hervir o calentar. Va. Hervir. Boil. Hervir. Shrimp. En cóctel o salsa rosada. Salsa rosada. No, camarón. SH. <risa> <risa> eh, uh -huh, camarón. Eh, rump. Rump. Lo traduce como grupa, pero a saber qué será eso. Rump. Está raro ese Grupa. Bueno. Sí. Grupa. Ni siquiera conocemos esa palabra en español. <risa> Yo no la voy a conocer. En no, it's a part of an animal. So. <risa> No, no worries. It's a part of an animal. So actually, it's kind of a las las anclas, um, anclas, no ancas, or kind Anca. of the cadera. Uh -huh. So we're talking about parts of the animal. Okay. Grimp. Mm -hmm. Rizar. Rizar. Sí, encolochar. Encolochar. Vaya. Teacher, ya aprovechando. Tenemos. Eh, bids, la palabra bids, beads, bids, uh -huh. lo, se traduce como rosario. ¿A qué se refiere? Uh, yes, but no. <ríe> lo que pasa es que uh, bid, eh, ¿te has fijado bien los rosarios católicos? Que son como chibolitas, uh -huh. like, como circulitos. Bids es eso, son los granos, no, no es el rosario en sí. Se llama bids. Pero eh, se refiere más como a los círculos, como a los, eh, los frijolitos que tiene, let's say it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Son las chibolitas. That's me. Teacher, Chibolita de por sí. Okay. Teacher, otra mm -hmm. de question. Yes. Uh, what is different the crispy and crispy? Crispy. Same is crujiente. Crispy, crispy and oh. crusty. Ah, crusty. And crunch. Okay, the thing is that sometimes eh, some words se refieren a sonidos y otros se refieren a la textura. So, for example, crunchy is um, when it has this 
sound. Okay. <laughs> like, so something that is crunchy can be carrots, right? Can más hacer sonido de um, carrots, nachos, probably. So they are crunchy, right? So hacen un sonido de uh -huh. So when you're eating them. Okay. Uh -huh. O sea que uno lo puede ver que sea crujiente y otro lo podemos sentir crujiente. Um, es. No, no, eso es el sonido. So crunchy es ah, como el sonido. Ajá. Yeah. Que es el sonido de, de algo que es yeah. como tostado, let's say, kind of like that. En crispy eh, se refiere más como al, al, a la textura, you know. No tanto al sonido que hace, Entonces, but crispy is like, like chicken. Chicken podemos, is kind of crispy. Uh -huh. ¿Podemos relacionar una tortilla tostada como crispy o crispy? No, that would be crunchy. That would be okay. kind of crunchy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque es más el sonido que hace. Crisp, yeah. Es que crispy es like como la textura, right? Something that is crispy. Uh -huh. Let me, okay. see, let me think, let me think. Uh, sí. Yo asocio mucho pollo campero with crispy. I mean, different kind of uh, chicken, right? Porque yeah. es como la textura. Uh -huh. Es crujiente. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> es la misma palabra, es que es la misma palabra en Spanish. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. But in English, it's a little bit different. Y crusty. Um, so crusty. I refer a lot. Crusty with um, SpongeBob and the square pants, like Crusty, Crusty Crab. <laughs> no sé si alguna vez lo vieron. Hmm. No. <laughs> okay. El de los Simpson, teacher. No, like um, <laughs> the square pants. Uh -huh. uh, no. uh, so Crusty is es como pants, algo que es. Uh -huh. so, como amargado, como. como... Como, en una persona sí, ajá, en una en persona sí, pero en comida, but in, in, a, in food. The relación en crusty con crab. Como crusty en comida es como, es como eh, no, en comida crusty es como con, con mucho, mucho como, como le digo, es como mucho frito. Mm. Could be, could be. So crusty es la textura que es, que es dura. Ajá. Como empanizada, exactly, como algo exactly. así. So crusty ah. es cuando la comida es como durita, right? Mm. For example, imagínense que van a comer crab. So crab is crusty. El cangrejo es bastante duro, más es con comparación with shell and everything. So that is crusty. Coconut, teacher. Coconuts, they are kind of crusty. No, but they are. Pero ellos no se pueden comer. <laughs> Can you? Okay. Tal, tal vez la, lo que está dentro, sí, right? But outside, no. <laughs> yeah, huh? So crusty es como duro, right? Como que tiene una cobertura eh, kind of hard. Es, es bastante yeah. dura. Mm -hmm. Que tiene el crunch. Mm, okay. But crunch is when you, when you eat it, when you chew it. All right, guys, so give me an example of food that we can eat raw. Can you give me some food that we can eat raw? What can we eat raw? Pila. Which one? Crudo. Crudo. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is the food that we can eat raw? Masa. Switch. Mm -hmm. Ceviche. Ah, sushi. Okay, some seafood. Okay. Anything else that you can eat and raw? Crudo. Mm -hmm. Yes, but what can you eat? What can you eat raw? Eggs. Have you ever eaten eggs? Or have you ever drunk eggs, raw eggs? No. Juice. Ah, juice. I mean, yes, definitely. Juice us, so we don't need to cook them, right? Okay. So raw is that, like sushi, some seafood. Okay. Things that we can eat um, raw. What about dough? What are some food that we need to make the dough first? When they eat a tortilla. Uh -huh. So a tortilla, a pizza, yes. So donuts. 
Pupusas, yeah. exactly. We need a dough first, right? Yeah. Pastelito, Which one? Pastelito de carne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More specific. <Sure. laughs> okay, what about sour? What is some food that you can eat sour? Or what are, what are some sour food that you like? Es agro significado. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Orange. Lemon. Uh -huh. So orange, lemon, tangerine, atol. probably. Atol, maybe atolls are not sour. Milk. Milk. Mm, sour Arruinan. milk. Cuando está oh. agria, se arruina. <laughs> okay. But, pero no creo que le guste tomarse. No, 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 no. <laughs> Big diarrhea next day. The meaning is uh, agrio o ácido. Actually, funciona para ambos. It, it, it works for both. In English, no hacemos diferencia. Um, so lemon is sour, orange is sour. Tangerines are sour, se consideran sour. Uh, esa es la descripción del sabor. Um, and you have sour milk, que sí sería como la leche agria, pero eso es como la leche ácida. Es decir, ya no sirve, it doesn't, doesn't work. It's not good anymore. But, Para que salga un atol agrio que se llama y a la gente le gusta. En El Salvador. El atol chuco. Sí. Ah, yeah. Es el atol chuco de uno, pero el atol agrio de lote se hace. Atol agrio sí. de lote. ¿Don't sí. you get diarrhea with that? No hay día. I have never My tasted that. Make. Y como the dijeron chuco. ayer, ni pensarlo, the probarlo. No, I don't know, guys, but, but uh, Abigail asked your, your aunt. Ask her if you get an indigestion or a diarrhea with that. <laughs> because yeah. that can be good for cleaning your yeah. stomach, right? <laughs> el, el atol chuco. Agri. That's sour. Mm -hmm. That's kind of sour. Exactly. Okay. Then we have creamy, steamy. Steamy refers to food that makes a lot of steam, like vegetables or the baked mm -hmm. food, right? So that's a steamy. We get some creamy food too. Um, and we have some shrimps. Guys, do you like shrimps? Do you eat shrimps? Yes. No, yeah. I don't no. eat. I Are don't. you serious? Do you don't eat like shrimps? String or like you? Yes. Oh, wow. The, I don't eat anything seafood. You don't eat seafood. Oh, okay. Are you allergic? No. Are you allergic? Do you have allergies for seafood? No, no. you just don't like it. I don't. I didn't dislike. Oh, okay. This sounds all right. Type yeah. Of food. Yeah, it sounds, sounds definitely all right. No problem. Okay. So we have a couple of words. We are going to continue using them. No worries about it. But guys, uh, before moving on, we are going to work a little with your material. Guys, open up your book, please. Open your material. And we have some steps here to mark in a process. So yesterday uh, we worked, give me a second. We worked with a little um, conversation. Today we're gonna move on and we are going to work a little with some more steps. So if you remember, we were talking yesterday about uh, what are the words that we can use in the steps, like first, second, then, later, yeah. after, yeah. Uh, right after, next, finally. Okay, and here we have like the steps to make something. Um, guys, who wants, to, who wants to read? Who wants to help me read it? Me, teacher. Thank you, Mauricio. Please uh, help number, us with this one. Number, number one. Mm -hmm. First, com combine mm -hmm. margarine, margarine mm -hmm. sugar to eggs mm -hmm. and vanilla. vanilla. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, separately mm -hmm. combine flour 
baking powder and salt. Mm -hmm. Fear mm -hmm. combined about mixture with meal. Mm -hmm. For later, she'll for one or mm -hmm. after roll the mixture to about a quarter inch stitch. Mm -hmm. Next, cut a cookie. Mm -hmm. Finally, bake for 10 minutes. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, guys, so what are the steps for? What are they making with this recipe or with these steps? Cookies. Cookies, exactly. You will find it in number six. Mm. So next, cut the cookies, right? So you have margarine, sugar, two eggs and vanilla, baking powder, flour and salt. Oh, and milk. And then you just go first, second, third, later, etc. So now next exercise goes for you guys. It's the teacher. What the meaning right after? Oh, right after. Like if you take a look, um, yesterday we mentioned that the expressions then, later, after, they have exactly the same meaning. Right after, it's exactly the same. Como the inmediatamente after. después, exactly. So es el mismo significado. That would be exactly the same word. Uh, or the same meaning for later, then, after, next, after that. That is exactly the same. So um, look at the following part. Here we have, read the description of the top selling product of chocolate factory in El Salvador. And we have one little definition of the steps to make chocolate. It says dark chocolate espresso made with our smooth dark chocolate and chunks of our organic espresso beans. Get your chocolate, wait, I don't see. Uh, get your chocolate and coffee fix, um, fix all at once with this delicious treat for $2. All right. And here we have the steps, guys, to make, to make dark chocolate espresso. But there is a little problem. They are not in order. In your material, you will find this in page number 10. So please go to page number 10 over there and put them in order, guys. So what are the steps to make dark? chocolate espresso. I don't know if you can see my screen. Probably it's not that good, but hopefully it works. We have number one already. Number one is we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Nice. Guys, what are the rest of the, what is the process to make that chocolate espresso? I'll give you five minutes, uh, put them in order, read the description, organize them, okay, put them in order, and then you tell us the steps, all right? So go guys, put them in order, please. Number one is this one. We process top quality cocoa beans. We start with this, number one.
Let me know, guys, when you finish. Let me know when you are ready so we can compare. Are you doing all right? Are you kind of stuck? Not yet. Okay, guys, so come on, how you doing there? Um, are you struggling a little bit? Is it kind of, are you struggling? Yes. Or no, not really. Mm, yes. So, so, teacher. So, so, okay, I will help you. <laughs> okay, this is six, this is seven. This is eight, <laughs> this is nine, and this is 10. Okay, so I'll help you with that. The rest is yours. <laughs> Teacher? Yes? Where is uh, number nine? Uh, grooms. The crumbs, C R U M B. Yes. Um, that is bread. It says at the chocolate at the chocolate factory, mm -hmm. we pass the crumbs through a pin mill. Um, I don't know if you have paid attention that when you have bread, uh, el pan, uh, when you eat it, caen como pedacitos, like um. Ah, like, migajas, migajas, exactly. So, si ha visto, eh, el, alguna vez ha visto el café? Have you ever seen the process? Okay. So yes, it teacher. says, uh -huh, so it says here yeah. that we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. So imagine you have cocoa mass, sugar, a little bit of milk, so lo que va a crear es como grumos, right? A eso se le llama crumbs. Mm -hmm. So like migajas, grumos, so those are crumbs. Thank you, teacher. 
Welcome. Yes, Miss. Ya le escuché la voz. I already heard your voice. <laughs> uh, is it flu? Yes, teacher. Oh, but just flu. I'm sorry. <laughs> What, uh, no, no worries, no worries. So I'm gonna say what, Miss. Two more minutes, guys. Teacher, ¿cómo Hello. escriben los números? ¿Están bien o el proceso es diferente? Ahorita, me so I'm checking yours. Okay, um, guys, just a little, a little recommendation with the process, and it's a little faster. Um, so remember, todo lleva un orden lógico, guys. So number one says, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce a cocoa mask. So, ¿qué es lo que tengo ahorita? What do you have in process number one? Cocoa más. ¿Con qué cuento? Solo con cocoa más. No hemos mencionado anything else. So, ¿cuál sería el siguiente proceso? What would be the second process according to, eh, si en el primero, I just have cocoa más, no he mencionado más ingredientes. I haven't mentioned more ingredients. What do you think goes next? We are to, uh, I'm going to erase them, sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. We add sugar to condensed milk. We add milk. sugar. Ah, but look, we add sugar to the condensed milk. Ah, pero es que yo ya mezclé en this step. Yo ya he mezclado condensed milk. Y ahorita no he mencionado milk. The cocoa must go straight. There we go. Yes, we process top cocoa beans to produce cocoa mass. Exactly. So what would be a step two? Ah, look, incluso vean como inicia, de cocoa mass. Uh -huh. Goes straight to the factories in La Unión or Santana. Okay, so I got the cocoa mass. Ya la moví, ya la envié para Santana. All right. ¿Qué más necesito? Now, what do I need? Y con Condense fresh ah, whole milk. Yes, we condense fresh whole milk. Okay, so number three, ahora sí. I have one more ingredient. We condense fresh whole we milk. We produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. Oh, very nice. Okay, so we produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. Okay, mm, pero de hecho. We rich... add sugar. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, antes de ya tener el producto casi listo, um, one, two, three, four, yes. We add sugar to the condensed milk. Ahora sí, porque ya mencioné condensed milk arriba. And I mix it, everything, I mix it up, and we produce a creamy, rich, creamy chocolate liquid. Ahora sí. So now I got it here, porque ya tengo todos los ingredientes. That's it. Then we cook the ingredients, the milk evaporates, then you mix, mix the crumbs, um, then at the chocolate factory, they go for a pig meal, and that undergoes all the refining process. And that's it, right? So that is the normal process, how to make chocolate. So, Guys, what? Uh, so we were talking about cooking. We were talking about all these things because it is related. 
So it is related on how to make some food. Um, questions, tienen dudas? Do you have any question, any doubt with this one? Solo creo que nunca aprenderé a cocinar. <laughs> no, no worries. No, no es nada complicado. It isn't like complicated at all. So, tenemos like all these steps. Give me one second. For some, no, but, well, de hecho, nadie, nadie ha visto chocolate, guys. Nadie ha hecho chocolate antes. No. no teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, you have, you have made a yes, little teacher. bit. Yeah, it's not that complicated. Acá creo que se ve a little bit difficult, but it is not. It is not at all. All right. So we were talking uh, yesterday about some steps. Um, but guys, we can think about some manufacturing processes. Guys, ¿alguien sabe hacer algo? Can you do anything? ¿Saben cómo hacer, how to create anything? Wait, mire, ay, no hice ni. Guys, do you have any, like any, I don't know, any experience in doing something? Hervir agua. <laughs> yes, but more than just boiling water. <laughs> Can you do anything? I mean, cooking or not, not, not just related to food. Talking about manufacturing processes. Guys, uh, pueden hacer, pueden crear algo? Can you do something? ¿Alguna vez han creado algo? Have you ever created anything? Um, ¿Han hecho ropa? Uh, uh, let's move a little bit away from, from food. Limonada. Yeah. Ok. Vale, quedémonos entonces con... Let's stay with food. That's ok. I prepare the, the, the cake. How to cut? Cake. How to cut it? So how to slice it? ¿Cómo hacerlo? ¿Cómo sacar los pedacitos? How to slice it? Uh, yes. Uh, first, I I I hand with my hand. I mm -hmm. and I cut the pies. Pies, pies or slices? Pieces. Uh -huh, slices. Pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, I could uh, a circle. In, a circle in the middle. In the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, after I cut the, the slide. Mm -hmm. Only that. Okay, that's okay. No, but no, no worries. Uh, we are going to talk about cooking, but not like so complicated. Uh, recipes or anything we're gonna like or you are going to tell us guys how to make a scramble egg can you make a scramble egg so si pueden hacer a scramble egg can you do that huevos picados huevos yes remuertos? teacher yes yes okay very nice uh what about tortillas can you make tortillas or pupusas yes Yes, I made. Yes, okay, very nice. So we got two. So how to make pupusas or tortillas? You decide which of them you want to make. What else, guys? What else can we make? So how to make? Ah, that is really nice. Yes, so charamuscas. Charamuscas. I don't know how to say charamuscas in English because they don't exist. I okay. can make choco bananas too. Ah, yes, give banana. Okay, so I had to make charamoscas, I had to make chico bananas. Okay. And that's a skimo banana. Skimo banana. Okay, how to make a skimo banana. One more, guys. One more. Okay. Can you tell me what else? What else can you make that is easy? Tortillas, to make? teacher. Yes, if we put us our tortillas. What else? Tamales. Uy, tamales are complicated. Hora <laughs> de tamarindo. Fresco de tamarindo. Ah, oh, dulces. Dulce. Ah, dulces. Oh my God, can you make candies? Yes. 
Oh, okay. oh, nice, Abigail, can make candies. But I think they are quite complicated. What else? What else can you make that you think everybody can make? Chicken with onions. Chicken with onion. Canoas. Canoas, canoas. Can everybody make canoas? Boys and girls? Plátano. What can uh, you make? No, my plátano is too easy. Plantain is too easy, guys. Esos son las calovas, teacher. El plátano con coleada. Con leche coleada. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is that imagine que su grupo decida eso en en YouTube. So no vamos a ir a Google a preguntar. Lasaña, teacher. Lasaña. Can you make lasaña, guys? No. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Let's let's think about something easier. I I can make lasagna. <clears throat> uh, okay, yeah, yeah. You mentioned you could make a spaghetti. Okay, can you make a spaghetti? Can everybody make a spaghetti? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's have a spaghetti. I think it's easier, and I think everybody can make it. Even el arroz es más difícil. Rice is even more difficult. If it is not a pre um kind of a fried rice. Okay, guys, very good. So we are going make, to make some groups. Make but the rice is very easy. Yes, but it has yeah. some technique. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um unbelievable si no, Mr. Sopa de Arroz. <laughs> no, 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 really. It is okay. very easy. It is very easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so actually. Could it's be, very could difficult. Is I think it's very difficult. I don't know you guys what you think, but Maybe I think it's something. Can show you. Mm, and actually, actually, one of the activities for this module is crear un video. So you got to make a video. Yeah. Teacher. Yeah. Hi. Rice with milk. Rice. Oh, that's easy. Uh huh. So rice with milk is easy. Okay, okay. Let's do the following, guys. Um, I, I want I, you to. I, 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 I eat. I eat uh, spaghetti tonight. Ah, you did you make it? Yep. Oh, very nice. Okay. It, with bolognese sauce. Oh, okay. You know, for some reason, I don't like pastas. I don't know why. Creo que me empachado. I think I had too much. <laughs> so I'm not a big fan of pasta. Wait a second. Sorry, guys. My flu is um, killing me. All right. So let's take a look here super quick. Um, Abigail, Jorge, Michelle, and Salvador, can you please select one? Can you select one of these? Tell me one of the steps. Uh, so nobody else will take it. Pupusas. Okay. Esquimo so, bananas. Uh, which one? Esquimo bananas. Okay, esquimo bananas is taken. All right. Uh, Andrea, Hector, Kenya, and Noé, you'll be working together. Give me one, please. Select one. Andrea, Hector. Kenya, no, eh? Okay, so nobody replied. Let's be, jump to the next. Blanca, Juan Jose, Kevin, and Lady. Select one, please. Scramble eggs. Scra ah, very easy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Mauricio, Dinora, and Damaris, select one, please. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, okay, nice, Spaghetti. there you go. Uh, Abigail, Georgina, and Mr. Narvaez, select one, please. Pupusas. Oh my God, okay, okay. So we're talking about a good level here because you need a lot of steps. And, but me falta group two. Uh, Andrea, está por acá? Hector, Kenya, y Noé? Guys, me fueron a dormir. Where are Thank you? you, teacher. Okay, Kenya, select one, please. 
I know, I'm sorry, you have charamuscas. <laughs> okay, guys, so you're gonna tell us about charamuscas. Okay, guys, I'm going to ask you to join the groups, uh, describe your dish, tell us the steps, right? How to make it. If it is possible, try not to use tra the translator. No lo vayan a poner todo en el traductor. That's not the idea. But que ustedes hagan sus propios steps, right? Eh, Salvador, Michelle, Jorge, Sánchez, and Abigail. Quédense acá en la sesión principal, please. Guys, los demás, vámonos. Let's go to your session. We have like seven minutes to create it. And then we will present it. Hi, Ezekiel. Good evening. Um, Ezekiel, you'll be working with um, Abigail's group. So join the groups, guys. Join the groups, please. We have seven minutes to make it. Um, pueden presentar su pantalla. You can present your screen if you feel like. Um, so everybody can have visibility on the steps. And then los presentan, then you will be presenting. So I will stop presenting here so you can present over there. Um, guys, let's go to the groups. Se me quedan un por acá. Teacher, sorry. Abigail Mejía o Abigail Bonilla se va a quedar en el acá. Es cierto, I have to. Abigail Mejía. So, Miss Bonilla, vamos al grupo, please. <laughs> so, Blanca, let's go to the group. Andrea, let's Hola. join the group, please. Sí. And, uh, oh, Michelle is bad. Ya le regreso, Michelle. Okay, guys, so let's start working. Tenemos siete minutos. We got seven minutes to work on that. Hi, Michelle. I'm sorry. Le traje de regreso para que trabaje con los chicos acá. So you can work with the guys over here. Ok. Bueno, sería esquimo bananas, ¿verdad? Bueno. Yeah. Ok. Eh, the first... Buy the bananas? Yes. <laughs> Me esperan unos minutos nada más a mí. Oiga, solo unos minutos. Ya vengo. Bye. Esquimo bananas es... Choco bananas. Choco bananas. Gracias. Ella dijo que así se escribía. Excelente. Gracias. Vaya. Eh, eh, a ver, lo primero que tenemos que hacer es pelar las bananas, pero no sé, solo se me ocurre decir open de bananas. Peel. Bananas. No, peel. 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 Yeah. Peel. No, the first one is the buy, buy the bananas. Buy bananas. Ok. Yeah. The first step. We have buy bananas. Bananas. Next one. Mm -hmm. Peel the bananas. Peel the bananas. And now, and. Ponerles el palito, como sería. And. Put or. Put. Inside. Insertar. No. Uh -huh. Porque poner es como. Poner, uh, pero insertar. inside es introducir, creo. Sí, inside dentro. Uh -huh. Inside speak. Uh -huh. Insert. Insert the. Insert. Insert. Insert the stick. Yeah. 
¿Cómo dijo? Inserta. Stick, eh, stick, eh, como palo. No sé si así es. Sí. Refrigerarlo. ¿Cómo se dice congelar o refrigerar? Freezer, freezer. ¿Ah? Sí, o pricing, no me acuerdo, pero es el... eh, Paleta de madera, podemos decir wooden pallet. ¿Cómo? Wooden pallet. Yo le creo, me gusta. <ríe> Aquí dice Google. Ok. Uh -huh. Y para refrigerar, es como sería, sería como colocar en la refrigeradora por no sé, una hora. Put a refrigerator for put in freezer. Oh. Ok, o freezer. Put in freezer for, uh, for, for one hour. No, Two. more time. Yes, for eight hours. No, uh, more or less. Um, ¿Cómo cuánto tiempo poner los bananos al, al, al freezer? Para hacer chocobananos. Mm, uh -huh. uh, more or less to uh, five or six hours. Okay. For five hours. Yeah. Six hours. Five or six hours. And, and now uh, the chocolate. To boil, boil the chocolate. Boil the, the chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Es derretir. Mm -hmm. Herber. Se pone herber el chocolate. Boil. Yes. Eh, quiero ver the next take uh, the bananas in the in in the freezer no take the bananas inside the freezer Mm -hmm. Sorry, please repeat. Take the bananas inside the freezer. Quiero decir que queremos sacar las la bananas que están en la, en la refri. Uh -huh. okay, then... Inside the freezer. And. Encover the chocolate. In, In cover. 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 Gracias. Chocolate. Okay. And, and finally, it, quiero ver. Depende. Uy, no sé, como depende de los gustos. Le podemos poner como eh, more toppings. Uh -huh. more pero, no sé, ah, pero no sé cómo se dice. Depende de los gustos. A ver. O de preferencias. Ah, okay, so, so yeah. And finally, depends on, on preference, use the more toppings. And finally, and finally, it uh, depends on, on preference. Use more toppings.
Topping. Yes, more toppings. Toppings. Yes. Okay. Okay, um, I read. Perfecto. Okay. The first step, the pale banana. The second, insert the wooden pallet. And the third step, put in the freezer for five or six hours. And boil the chocolate. Then take the banana or freezer. Tomamos la banana del freezer, ¿verdad? Sí, inside the freezer. Then cover the banana with the chocolate. And finally, find, depend to preference, the toppings. Perfect. Correct? Yes. yes. Use, use more toppings. Is? Is the topping. Topping. Sí. Okay. Excelente. Finish. Finish. And to eat. Ready, ready for eat. Number eight. And eat. And eat, yes. And En la última parte, Michelle, cuando decimos to preference to topping, y su topping, estamos hablando de ponerle como maní. Maní, crispy, eh, las cositas de colores. Entonces podemos ponerle quizás de pen to preference y the topping, add, como agregar. Ajá. Maní, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Peanut. Peanut, butter y peanut. Penut. Ajá. Como pe peanut. Creo que se escribe. Penut. Uh -huh. Crispy, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Como si no. Ajá, para no decir marca. And la, la de colores, no sé cómo se llama. Se llama. Yo le voy a poner a Little. A Little. ¿Cómo se llama? Pequeños. ¿Cómo queremos decir pequeños? Pequeños uh, candies. Little candies, yes. A Little candies. Ok. Ahora sí. Okay, thank you.
Um, all right, guys, are you kind of ready? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Sure. Okay, nice, 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 nice. So let's just wait for the other groups to finish too. I believe they are coming now. Um, did you have any difficulty with the description or not really? Everything was easy. Uh, how to help? 50-50. <laughs> yes. Okay. What was the most difficult thing? Connectors or verbs? Uh, to you know, ambas? I don't know how to Both. Do Both. Both. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so no, but but you know, with the connectors, you'll get them. So, so let me tell the recorders que then later, next after that, todos utilizan de la misma forma. So, no hay mayor diferencia. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for coming back. So, thank you for joining. Revisemos un poquito las descripciones que tienen, right? Let's get started with how to make scramble eggs. Uh, guys, ¿quién tiene scramble eggs? ¿Cuál de los grupos teníamos Scramble Eggs? Compañero cocinero está por ahí. <risa> ok. Sí, aquí estoy. <risa> Can okay. you read our steps, please? <laughs> so okay. he's the chosen one. Seriously. You are the chosen okay. one. And, and, and Kevin's voice is heard. You know? <laughs> okay. Oh, but if you feel okay, that sounds nice. So you can tell us. Well, to make uh, a scrambled eggs, mm -hmm. uh, the first first take three eggs and put them in the bowl mm -hmm. well bake the eggs and put them in the bowl okay. uh, second eat the pan third put a spoon of butter in the pan mm -hmm. uh, add the eggs over pan this is a secret. Add three spoons of milk. Ah, oh, so you add milk. Yeah. But powder milk or liquid mm, milk? Liquid milk. Okay. Uh, salt and pepper. Mix all ingredients. Uh, cook for two or three minutes uh, without mix. Mm -hmm. uh, finally ready to serve and eat wow that's a very nice description you know you even made me made me want to make some scrambled eggs right now <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> scrambled eggs uh, uh, ranch egg uh, I, I forget I forget <laughs> But, but do you but quick question in a scramble eggs what do you prefer to use when you put milk margarine butter or oil butter butter not oil yeah. no it's better with butter mm, okay so it's better with butter all right probably in the future i will all right very okay. interesting i but, like that part that you say <clears throat> this is the secret <laughs> but if you if you can, it's better butter without salt. Oh, I was going to ask about it. So sugar? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Nothing no. at all. No pepper, no salt. In the supermarket, buy butter without salt. Oh. Yep. Ah, uh, you... you mean like the butter? It, it like yep. it is like like um like a special kind of butter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, 
Like the one you use for baking, for making bread. Uh, now this different. It's different. Okay, I'm gonna ask for that. Yeah. All right, all right. Amazing, really nice description. I I like the way um you described the elements. That was really nice and easy to follow. That makes me like make one to you know to to make some scramble eggs. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> nice. Now let's go for the next one. Pupusas or tortillas, guys. What did you make? Pupusas. Pupusas, very good. Let's talk about pupusas then. What are the steps? Who's going to tell us about the steps? Uh, prepare ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, compañero José, ayudamos. Of course, Mister. Of course. Este, uh, teacher. Uh, yes. We did it like this. Uh, oh, uh -huh. First, we prepare the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Then we prepare the rice dough. After that, we take some dog and in a bean, cheese, and pork. Mm -hmm. Those are the ingredients. Okay. Then we wait uh, around five minutes mm -hmm. uh, for the pupusa that is cooking. Mm -hmm. And finally, we come up the pupusa and we serve them to the client. Mm -hmm. And that's all, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, you, you made it sound really easy, but I think it's because um, uh, we are missing the sauce and we are missing the curtidito, right? <laughs> okay. But where are you, Ezequiel? Ah, in the center of San Miguel. In the middle of the carnaval, teacher. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is the carnaval these days? Yeah. Todos los días lo están... Oh, in the center. When? In front of the cathedral. Uh, today or next yeah. week. El, el mero mero sería el, el sábado, pero todos los están haciendo ahí. Todos los días, todas las noches, quiero decir. Wow. Do you normally go? Do you assist to no. that event? No. No, I don't like it. No, are you serious? You don't like it? You get a sleepy. What? <laughs> no, you can't sleep. Y de repente ya lo voy a ver, teacher, no me voy a conectar porque voy a ir a bailar. <laughs> okay. In fact, the, uh -huh. fact the, the, the Saturday, I won't be here. Why? I had to... ¿Cómo se dice salir fuera del, del country de Mesa Miguel? Es que me invitaron ah. a, a un lugar, o sea, que fuera a guitar la tocarra. <laughs> Do you play the guitar? Sí, teacher, tengo un toquín por ahí. Entonces Do no you, voy a estar. Do you play in a band? Yes. Oh, okay. Eh, it's called vintage. Vintage. Like, yeah. what kind of music do you play? Um, like alternative rock. Spanish or English? Uh, both. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Yeah. So do you come to San Salvador to play? I can hear anything. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Absolutely. Do you come to San Salvador to play? Uh, no, I will not, teacher. Oh, where do you play? Uh, in San Miguel? Yes, here in La Unión, Santa Rosa de Lima, Morazán, Gotera. Acoustic or Rotan. electric guitar? Yes. I play electric guitar. Both? Ah, electric. Wow. And suddenly we will see Ezequiel Palmundo, you know? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice that you have a lot of talents. Really, really good. That's the yeah. reason for uh, sometimes I, I, I don't be here in class. Ah, okay. 
No, but you know, tell them I have classes and I need to go, you know. <laughs> Ah, okay okay sounds amazing all right guys thank you let's go with charamuscas guys can you tell us a little bit about the steps how to make charamuscas please who has charamuscas or skimo banana uh, are you ready guys with the skimo banana Now, spaghetti. <laughs> Michelle is yes. the chef. You know, yes. You know what Michelle is the one. Okay, so Michelle, tell us, please. Okay. Um, the first and the most important, buy the bananas. <laughs> okay. So next, call the bananas and insert the wallet pallet. Uh, Put in put in freezer for five or, or six hours the bananas, and then boil the chocolate. The next, take the bananas inside the freezer and cover the chocolate, and finally, depends on, on preference, use more toppings like like peanut or cereal. I don't know, mm -hmm. and and to re ready for it, ready for it. Okay, okay, sounds really nice. Yeah, skimo bananas are uh, like super easy to prepare. Yes. All right, amazing. Sounds good. Let's go with the last one, but not the least one: spaghetti. Guys, how do you normally make spaghetti? Is the, is the spaghetti group ready? <laughs> Guys, what are you? Hello, teacher. Hi. Um, but um, the dish of spaghetti, uh -huh. first put water in a boil. Okay. After put a little oil and salt. Mm -hmm. Then, Put the spaghetti in the recipe okay. and cook for 10 minutes. After dry it, the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And fresh tomato, onion, and garlic. After that, put the spaghetti, the new, and remove. Mm -hmm. And add natural salt and cream mm -hmm. and boil for thin minimum five minutes sorry and enjoy it oh okay okay very nice that sounds really nice like a really good spaghetti and easy to make a spaghetti recipe. Okay, guys, very good. Solamente nos falta los um the guys from Charamosas, but no worries, you can tell us tomorrow about it. Eh, guys, vamos a practicar un poquito de listening. So, les voy a enviar un video eh, al grupo de WhatsApp. Solo tengo problemas ingresando. I'm gonna give it a try tomorrow. El video es cómo hacer pancakes. No es porque no podamos hacerlo, sino por el, el vocabulario, right? Por listening. Um, so, les voy a compartir este video. Es de dos minutos. So, mientras están descansando en su hora de almuerzo, you can watch it. Um, you can listen to the video. Y súper importante, guys, no le pongan subtítulos. Don't play subtitles on it. Don't play captions on it. Solamente escúchenlo. Eh, e intenten entender qué es lo que están describiendo, right? What is the person trying to say? Um, si tienen más tiempo y quieren trabajar listening, pues intenten escribir todo lo que van comprendiendo y revisamos mañana cómo nos va, you know, with that listening exercise. So déjenme ver si puedo compartírselos por la mañana, el día de mañana, all right? Antes de irnos, guys, solamente les tomo asistencia. Y regálenme confirmación verbal, please, que estamos por acá para que nos quede en grabación. I have Abigail Mendoza. Present. Gracias, Miss. Andrea. Creo que decía que iba a estar. Thank you. Thank you so much. Blanca. Present. Gracias, Miss. Georgina. 
Presente. Thank you. Hector. Presente. Okay. Gracias. Jorge Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jorge Narváez. Present teacher. Thank you. Well, creo que Jonathan and Antonio, I'm going to make the difference. Ezequiel. Well, ¿qué le acaba de hacer acá? Juan José. Presente, teacher. Gracias. And uh, Julio César. Creo que había Julio, but no lo veo again. Kenia. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss Kevin. Kevin se está por acá. El chef. <ríe> Lady. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Uh, Mauricio. I Present teacher. teacher. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Noé. No he escuchado a Noé ahora, but I think he was here. Salvador. Haber visto Salvador en eh, Abigail Bonilla. Stephanie Michel. Stephanie Michel. Si thank you, Dinora. Present. No, no, eh, we need to solve it. And Damaris, Damaris is out for it. Okay, so tenemos casa llena. Gracias, guys. Thanks, everybody. Eh, guys, solamente como un pequeño recordatorio. Recordemos que el tiempo de conexión eh, se suma minuto a minuto. So, please, eh, si podemos, you know, estar toda la, la clase los 120 minutos. That would be amazing porque no solamente es como entro un minuto y ya me salgo, right? Sino que lastimosamente en este caso Zoom nos lleva conteo de minuto a minuto. Y les agradezco enormemente por estar acá eh, todo el, el tiempo de conexión, right? Incluso si se les cae el internet y regresan. Thank you so much for that. Guys, eh, nos veremos el día de mañana. Dinora, si me regalan unos minutitos, please. And uh, thanks, everybody. Nice meeting you. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, nice. teacher. Yeah. Ah, okay, Paolo. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I call you Kevin. <laughs> okay, I call you Paolo tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Dinara, le voy a robar unos minutitos. Um, so, okay. solamente para la sesión one on one. Guys, los demás estamos dismissed. Teacher. Bueno, un segundito. Give me just Teacher. a moment here. And uh, just let's wait for the rest to exit. Tengo un momentito, mis que um, no puedo, no puede haber alguien más. Terrible. <laughs> okay. okay. Gracias, mis. Gracias por estar. Se le voy a robar un par de minutitos. I'm just going to steal some minutes of your time. Um, nuestros módulos por lo general tenemos al finalizar la clase como 10 minutos de one on one le llamamos, right? Porque a veces entre 20 no es lo mismo escuchar a 20 personas, 20 voces, que escucharla a usted y saber cómo en qué, eh, qué tema le está costando, qué tema considera que necesitamos un poquito de práctica adicional, right? Um, en más adelante voy a ir viendo que las one on one pueden irse modificando y solamente tener la oportunidad de tener esta interacción uno a uno y poder practicar también, right? Um, but ya que ya estamos iniciando módulo y ya que es la primera vez que nos acompaña la like, uh, as inglés corporativo, um, mis me gustaría saber tus impresiones. Mencionaba ayer que hace un ratito no sé en inglés, right? Sí, este, como por lo de la pandemia, ya no continué estudiando. Eh, estaba en la pedagógica. Ah, ok. Ajá. Eh, ya íbamos quizás a finales de básico, íbamos ya, pero igual ya, ya no continuamos porque el... O sea, se desintegraron completamente los grupos. Mm -hmm. Ya fue bien complicado como retornar. Ah, entonces, okay. ajá, entonces. Estaban eh, yendo presencial, me imagino. Presencial, sí, okay. los sábados, todos los sábados por la tarde. Ah, eh, okay. Era la modalidad. Uh -huh. Y este, 
algunas que otras cosas, pues igual las la recuerdo, las apretimos, eh, pero sí, ahorita estaba viendo al menos lo, lo que todo el vocabulario que vimos hace un momento, pues la mayoría pues son palabras nuevas casi para mí. Ah, ok. Ah, ah. Pero del cuadrito o del cooking vocabulary? Eh, del cuadrito que, que ah, vimos. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. uh -huh. Ya, yeah, son bastantes palabras. Sí. Ok, los conectores, si ¿sí se recuerda cómo utilizar conectores? Eh, El first, second, third, ah, yes. after that. Yeah, uh -huh, ok. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, cooking sí. verbs, cómo utilizar algunos de los cooking verbs como. Um, So, chop, pot, los verbos, uh, do you remember how to use them? Um, a a little. Yo recuerdo, cut, cortar. Ah, oh, okay, just cut uh -huh. okay. Cut o okay. put, uh, remove. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, but ese ejercicio de crear como una receta, eh, ¿Lo sintió fácil? ¿Was it easy? ¿O lo, o lo sintió un poquito difícil? Um, fácil, easy. No, ah, no, entonces uh -huh. eso no uh -huh. uh -huh. So we are good. Ok, bueno, entonces solamente revisamos el vocabulario eh, de la presentación. So let's take a look at it and usted me va dando ejemplos también. Eh, tenemos hasta las ideas, entonces we can uh, take advantage of this time, of these four minutes. Um, no es todo como lo que vamos a tener que memorizar, right? But sí hay un par de palabras que son importantes cuando hablamos like, uh, de comida, especialmente like for this unit, that we talk a lot about food, uh, flavors, and all those things. So, mm, mm, okay. Um, so take a look at the first, that, that one says chewy, right? Um, do you like kind of some chewy food? Do you like cheese? Do you like uh, pizza probably? Like chewy, food that is kind of chewy? Um, what I mean, ch chewy. Like pegajosa, como like you, you, you eat it, right? Y es como que tiene que mascarla a lot. Es como, uh, ajá, like chewy. Um, I like a, a little. <laughs> A little bit, okay. Oh, for example, no sé si he comido alguna vez quesillo, solo quesillo, ah, you know? Yes. Ajá, ajá, so that is kind It's of chewy. Delicious. Que se siente yeah. como chicloso. Ah, um, chicloso. So that is chewy, exactly. Mm, okay. Ajá. Yes, yes, it's delicious. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about raw food? Do you like raw food? What is this? Number two, uh, that was raw, R-A-W. Row. Um, Con los chicos row. del grupo revisaron el significado. Did you check the meaning? Row. Mm -hmm. um, is the line five? And number um, two. Row. Number two. Yes, number two. That is um, line number two. Row. Fila. Es que estamos. Um, ah, la, 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 yes. La... Yes, sí es una fila. A veces hasta el traductor nos miente. Uh -huh. sí, es una, sí es una fila, pero cuando hablamos de comida, ro es crudo, right? Um, food that is not cooked. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. What is your favorite raw food? Um, I, I mentioned fruit. Ah, okay, yeah, fruit. Mm. I like carrots. So probably guess, carrots yes. is my favorite raw food and yes. my favorite uh, vegetable that is vegetable. kind of raw. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. Now, do you like crispy, crunchy, or crusty food? I like, like, I like uh -huh. crunchy. For example? For example, tostada. Ah, okay. Yes, I like with lemon. Ah, and, okay. and a little salt. Ah, okay. Just tostadas, like plantain, yes. toasted. What about chicken? Do you like chicken? Yes, I like chicken and a special. Um, I 
Do you have a favorite place? Yes, Campestre. Ah, Campestre. Uh -huh. I have heard that is good. Okay. Yeah. I think I don't like, I don't have a favorite kind of chicken. So I can eat Don Pollo and that's okay for me. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. I am not very picky, but it's Campestre. I'm sorry, it's Campestre Crunchy. Adios. What about KFC? Sorry? And, and KFC? Have you ever eaten KFC? Ah, uh, Kentucky? Ah, uh -huh, Kentucky? Ah, uh, yes, it's more crunch. Yeah, right? It's more uh, crunchy, yes, I think. Yes. Okay. But uh, um, Kentucky, I am um, a little. Um, Mm, me gusta un poco. You like a little. Okay, uh -huh. you like it a little bit. Uh -huh. All right, exactly. So, if you take a look, algunas de esas palabras usted sí las conoce, pero quizás no las recuerda. Se le ha olvidado. We may yes. have forgotten a couple of the words. So, let's do something. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. So, um, hagamos la siguiente. Let's do the following. Um, con las palabras que tengamos de comida acá, escribamos oraciones. Let's write some sentences para que sea más fácil recordar el significado de estas palabras, right? Por ejemplo, yo tengo shrimp, la número 12, uh, pero confundo shrimp, rum, and cream. Entonces, voy a escribir oraciones que se me sean más fácil recordarles. Por ejemplo, I like shrimps but with a little bit of mayo and a little bit of ketchup or a pink sauce. Or I like shrimp and fish uh, together in a cocktail. So, la idea es escribir oraciones que se me haga fácil recordar vocabulario nuevo. Um, Revise qué palabras de estas son nuevas relacionadas con comida. Hay unas que no son comida. Así que esa, déjela de lado. <laughs> Solamente las palabras que se relacionan con comida write a sentence, right? And, uh, y la revisamos mañana and we check them tomorrow, okay? Para que vayamos recordando vocabulario nuevo, nuevo tú. Uh, y si hay algún tema en algún momento con el que necesite ayuda, con el que no, el que no esté claro, pues obviamente vamos avanzando. Hay cosas que usted recuerda, cosas que tal vez vayan a ser totalmente nuevas. Let us know, you know, no tenga pena en decirlo, uh, no, no, me quedaron dudas con esto. Podemos revisar los temas o le damos eh, algún tipo de refuerzo, right? Eh, para que no nos vayamos quedando. So, thank you, Miss. Eh, gracias por el tiempo, ya le robé más. <laughs> okay. So, thank you so much for that. Y revisamos mañana las, um, el vocabulario. We check tomorrow the vocabulary. All right. Okay, gracias. So, thank you. Have a good um, night. Good night. Mm-hmm.